UG9 here. Uh, yeah. First time recording. Not very good. Anyway. Uh, this video is gonna be on watercolor. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, well, the key to start off, the key is, of course, getting your materials. Uh, it's preferable that you have a very good watercolor, but of course, the materials don't really matter. They do matter, but they kind of don't matter because if you have the right materials, you can do make a much better quality painting. But if you don't have proper materials, you can probably wing it like I did here in the video. Uh, basically a cheap $2 watercolor set with the basic colors. I mean, of course, you could splurge and get the more expensive stuff, but you could also, you know, do it my way and get the cheap stuff. Also, you must need, have, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and of course, the essential, your paper, that you plan to paint on. Of course, those are the basic stuff, but whatever. It's kind of basic. You should know this. Well, not you should, because otherwise you wouldn't be watching my video. Anyway. With watercolor in the whole anime, manga-esque type stuff, whatever, it's always nice to have a very thin paintbrush. In, or, well, actually it's best to have tons of paintbrushes in varying sizes. Preferably softer brushes because it's not like acrylics where, you know, the brushes will get all stiff and stuff after you use them. Not a good idea to use natural bristle brushes for acrylic, by the way. Anyway, going on a tangent. Um, the best thing to do is to have these at ha on hand in different sizes, like in the video. I know, my camera works very shaky. Don't have a tripod. Working on that. Basically what you need to start off with when you're actually doing the watercolor stuff you, take a, you have to take a big brush and start off with the larger areas first. Very diluted with the water color. Lots of water, basically. Of course you have to have a cup of water with you when you're doing watercolor. Otherwise it wouldn't be called watercolor, guys. And you're supposed to do a wash. Basically what a wash is, is you're basically taking a watercolor, you're diffusing it with the water, and making it very, very insanely pale. You'd think this was a bad thing, but it's not. It's a good thing. Because the essence of watercolor is to layer the colors. And when you layer the colors, you can get varying kinds of colors. Like you can make a interesting looking orange. You can add blues to areas where they normally wouldn't be because there'd be that undertone of blue. And that adds to the mood of your painting. Of course, the one I'm doing in the video does not look very nice. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's, it's anime. May, anime. So it's not going to look quite as nice with anime. But, you know, nonetheless, you know, you work your way down the painting. Of course, you basically just block in large areas of color. But before doing adjacent adjacent areas of uh, painting, it's best to let them dry first because otherwise the colors will run into each other and then it'll look like a big mess and then it won't be artistic at all. At least not in your opinion anyway. Or my opinion, whatever. It won't look very nice. It'll just look like a big blobby mess. So it's best to dry in between, you could use a hair dryer if you so choose, on a low setting, because if you use a high setting and you use a lot of water, it'll cause the, uh, the paint to, like, just blow into each other, so, yeah. Um, and then when each layer dries, you can add more color to make the more, to make each color more vibrant, and you can use that method to add undertones to make a 
to create a sense of a mood for e for your painting. For example, if you wanted a very sad mood, you'd probably use like a blue undertone. Or if you wanted a very happy mood, you'd use a warmer color. Of course, I could go over color theory in another video, if you guys so choose. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that will be now for today. Now for today. Enough for today, I think. Because um, this video is going to probably be long. Anyway, this is Huge and Nine signing off right about now. Adios.